Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm happy that you're here because in today's video, we are styling neutrals. Well, before we get into the video, I wanna welcome everyone who's new here. My name is Ashley Park, welcome to Park Avenue, and I have tons of fashion content for you guys to check out. If you are looking for outfit ideas, for curvy girls or just outfit ideas in general, for work, for working from home, for the weekend, the holidays, I have something here for you. So check out some of my other videos. You can check out my Outfits of the Week playlist. I'll link it here in the cards for you. I do Outfits of the Week every single Sunday and you guys can get outfit inspiration and it's just really where I encourage you guys to shop your closets. And honestly, with all of my looks, you guys can probably recreate with something you already have in your closets. But of course, if you guys wanna buy something that I'm showing you or if I'm showing you guys something that you really wanna add to your wardrobe, I'll have it linked in in the description box. If this is the kind of content you wanna see, then I have something for you. So make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell so that way you don't miss any of my uploads. Okay, so let's talk about today's video. So in this video, I'm styling neutrals for you guys. And a lot of these outfits can double as holiday outfit ideas. They're great capsule wardrobe pieces. If you guys feel like you need to start at a really good base for your wardrobe and then expand from there, these outfits are perfect for you. And if you don't have enough neutrals in your closet, if you feel like you con you're constantly trying to figure out how to make a piece work for you, you don't have anything that really just goes together. You're always racking your brain on how you can figure out different outfit ideas. This is a great video and these pieces are great pieces to start with, whether you're building your wardrobe, whether you're trying to transition your wardrobe into a more mature wardrobe that really can work hard for you, a wardrobe that you don't have to think too much about. The pieces just really are great, interchangeable, and easy to pair together. And these are really great, easy winter pieces as well. So I hope this video gives you guys tons of inspiration. And of course, let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. Let's get into it. So here's the first outfit. And this look I love because I love these leggings from Zara. I've styled these so many times and they're just really, really comfortable. So that's, this is actually like my favorite piece of the entire look. But all the pieces are very comfortable. This sweater is actually from Zara as well. I've had it for probably two years now. It's, it's really nice and you guys already know that I love Zara knits. Very comfortable, especially for the price. You're getting a really nice quality knit for the price. And then this outfit, of course, is just very basic black and white but the textures are really nice and really plush. And that's what makes this outfit so great, so comfortable and still very impactful because you can't really get much sharper than black and white, you know? That looks really good, very classic. And for shoes, I'm wearing my Zara boots. This entire outfit is actually from Zara. I've just collected the pieces over time, but I've been loving these boots. I'll show you guys another video um, where I hold the boots. I'll put that here in the cards if you wanna check out some of the other items that I got when I showed you guys these boots, but I've really been loving them. Like I said, wearing them a lot over the past week or so, and I've really been realizing what a staple they are in my wardrobe. Love, love, love. And I just wanna point out, if you have a wider calf, if you feel like this boot is something you're not sure about, I would say try them out for sure because they do have the side zip, but you can adjust the laces so that it widens up or tightens up. So I think these are a great affordable boot that you can really get a lot of wear out of. And of course, this is a really great winter outfit, really nice to lounge in or go out you know, around town. But if you wanna punch it up a little bit and make it a little bit more event friendly, or if you have those Zoom calls we talked about in the last video, if you have those sorts of events coming up and you wanna make this a little bit more holiday friendly, you could just add a little bit of sparkle. That's just an easy way to make this outfit a little bit more event friendly. So I have these clips that I got recently from Nordstrom in my hair, and then I'm wearing all my jewelry. I have on a few bangles, a couple of rings, and then my watch, just to add a little bit of sparkle a necklace, a bold necklace, because this is a pretty chunky uh, turtleneck. And I really like that idea, you know? So if someone's just looking at you from the waist up, you look really nice and bright and festive, but this is an outfit you can wear another time. You know what I mean? Like so many of us buy things special for events. And this is something you can wear if you had something special that you wanted to kind of attend via Zoom or what have you. But you can also wear this and accessorize it differently for like every day. For me personally, this is the perfect amount of accessory and sparkle for every day. But if you're someone who's a little bit more laid back or you don't like to wear as many shiny, sparkly things for your everyday life, then I totally understand. You can just, you know, do maybe like a plain hair clip or a plain headband, something like that. You don't have to add as much accessories. And then this, will, this outfit can totally be taken down to be a lot more everyday if this isn't your speed, you know? And another thing I wanna point out about this look is the way that I did my half tuck. I like half tucks because they do give your outfit a little bit more shape, especially if you're a curvy girl, you wanna just point out any sort of definition that you can because 
especially if you're layering or wearing bulkier clothes, you can add more volume than you actually have. So a half tuck is a great way to eliminate that. And I like the fact that I was able to tuck this sort of at a longer angle because it minimizes my hips just a little bit. Um, I think it makes a big difference. If you can see like that looks different than this. You know, it kind of like cuts me a little bit and makes things a little bit more flattering. So that's just something to think about the next time you're wearing a chunky sweater and a pair of leggings. And I don't know if you guys remember, but I kind of mentioned this in another video, the fact that, okay, so I've said before that leggings are not pants, but it depends on how you wear them and it depends on the thickness of the legging. Like these I love because they're very thick, they're not see-through, they're just a really nice, strong legging and they have a nice thick wide waistband. So that's why these are my favorite leggings. Now, I don't need to wear something completely down here and I feel like it's okay with these, especially because they're so thick. I just like to wear something that has like a little bit of coverage like here, you know, so kind of the way that it, my sweater cuts me, it just makes everything look really flattering. I don't feel like anything's hanging out or anything like that. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about leggings because I know we've had discussions about this before, but leggings are definitely a part of my wardrobe in the colder months because they're just really comfortable, really easy to throw in with chunky sweaters and things like that. But I think it really does matter how you style them. And this is a way I love to style my leggings with a chunky sweater. So I just wanted to add a couple more accessories to show you guys how different you can make this outfit look. I mean, we all need to wear a coat right now. So basically, this is what I would do to keep this outfit neutral. And the creams just really make this outfit look super expensive. That is a great way to look expensive if you find some good quality like knits or even in the summertime, any time of the year, if you find some really good quality cream or whites, they really can elevate an outfit and look super expensive. Have you ever seen someone in like an all cream suit or just like an all white outfit? If the pieces fit well, if they're quality pieces, they look really rich and really expensive. So love this. And then of course I threw on my Saint Laurent puffer. I've been loving this bag. You guys have seen it a lot on my channel. And I guess I do wanna make one, I guess, adjustment to a video that I did previously. I talked about some of my most like worn luxury pieces. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link it here in the cards and you guys can check that one out. And I did put this bag in that video because I know for some people, this is still a little bit out of their comfort zone. So I wanted to only pick items that I felt were like sure, solid items that would really appeal to people across the board. But I am finding that so many of you have been asking about this bag and asking me questions and saying it's on your wish list and you wanna get this bag. So maybe it appeals to more people than I thought it would. It's definitely my style and I've been loving it. So if I could go back and change anything about that video, I would add this bag and I love it. So if you guys wanna check out like another video where I talked about my Saint Laurent bags or I even did a review, I'll leave um, like a link in the description box and you guys can check the playlist out, like my handbag collection, I'll leave it here in the cards. So here's the next look, a very easy to recreate look. I'm sure you all have a gray sweater and even if you don't have this shade of a black pair of jeans or a gray pair of jeans, you can just do a solid black pair any variation of gray that you have is gonna look great here. These jeans are from Lucky Brand. They're part of their um, Unifit line where they have only like five sizes. And within that, those five sizes, each number represents a range. So you just have to read their size chart and figure out which size range you fit into. And these I have in a size four. But I'll have link, the link to these in the description box as well as everything that's still available. And whatever's not available, I'll link to something similar. So make sure you guys check the description box. The sweater that I'm wearing is from Banana Republic. I've had this sweater for a while. It's very chunky, nice and thick, very warm. I also really love sweaters from Banana Republic as well. Every year they have a really nice variety of, you know, different sweater types, colors, everything. They're a great place for that. So love this one. And it has these giant cuffs. They're actually sewn down, but I've been thinking about, I've had this sweater a long time, but I've been thinking about just cutting them so I can like make the cuff as wide or as small as I want it to be. But anyway, that's for the, another video. But I love this, very comfortable, easy to wear. And of course, if you already have something like this in your collection, you can just style this up very simply and then just add some embellishments to make the outfit a little bit more interesting. I decided to keep everything else the same as the last outfit, but I did go with my initial 
necklace. This is my pearl P necklace that I got from Nordstrom. It's by Bobble Bar, and I love this. I love pearls, if you guys can not already tell. And then for shoes, I'm wearing my Zara patent leather booties. I love these. They're nice and sleek, but they have a pointier toe, but they're kind of squared off at the same time. So these are really nice, a nice comfortable heel height. So easy to wear. And then of course, I throw my Saint Laurent puffer. So I just wanted to give you guys a different option. I threw on my Saint Laurent Lulu bag. This is another easy hands-free crossbody option. And this is great when you're going to other people's houses. Sometimes you don't want to put your bag down. So you just throw on a crossbody and it's part of your look. So it fits everything. You can just wear it and don't have to worry about taking it off because it's actually like an accessory, like a piece of jewelry, a part of your outfit. Here's another easy, great neutral look. This one is gonna be great if you want something more basic, not too much embellishment, not too much going on, but you can also wear this when everything returns to normal. You can wear this into the office, or right now, you can wear it on the weekend, or if you like to get dressed while you're working from home, this is a good outfit. So this top is from Banana Republic. It's just like a thin knit. Love this, great for the winter, especially if you're someone who gets a little bit hot. These thinner knits are perfect for you. And then this has the V-neck, and a V-neck is really nice and flattering, especially have, if you have a larger chest. The V-neck really opens things up and breaks it up a little bit. So then I'm wearing my one of my favorite pairs of jeans. These are my cheeky straight jeans from The Gap. I love these. I have these in about four or five washes now. That's how much I really love these. They have a nice high rise. They just fit really nicely. And they have like a thicker denim material because I can't do 100% denim but I do like a majority percentage of denim and just a slight bit of stretch just for comfort but I really love these and then for my shoes I'm wearing my leopard print flats from J. Crew. these I love because they have a pointy toe and I gotta be honest with you guys I don't always love a pointy toe flat there are a lot of options out there that are really good but I feel like they can go kind of wrong um, just I don't know I just can't always find ones that I love but I do love these and these, the point of the whole pointy toe is that it keeps everything nice and long and lean and slimming. It's just very flattering. I just always, I just don't always find a pair that I love personally. And I do really love these. And here's what I would do as far as a coat to keep the look still very neutral, but looking very expensive. And this coat is from Nordstrom Signature. I love this coat. It's a cashmere coat. Very, very gorgeous. Like it looks really, really gorgeous. And it has been going on sale. Hopefully by the time this video goes up, it's still on sale. And I think if you're looking for a neutral coat, this is something you need to check out. A camel coat will never, ever, ever, never go out of style. It's perfect for everyone's wardrobe. I don't care who you are, what kind of lifestyle you have, a camel coat is gonna really take you far. And if you find one that's really great quality, you might not have to ever buy another one, you know? So check out this coat and see if you guys are interested because this one's really great. And I have actually belted it. I've showed you guys other ways to style it. If you follow me on Instagram, then you've seen my posts. And I actually um, did a video where I showed you guys how to style one belt, one really great belt that had a lot of different ways to wear it. I showed you guys how to style that. And if you wanna check out that video, I'll link it here in the cards. And then it'll give you another idea of how you can wear this coat if this is something you wanna invest in because you're gonna get so much wear out of it, but you might wanna get some ideas on how far it could really take you, then you should check out that video. So here's the next look I wanna show you guys, and I am loving this. Okay, so remember what I said about all creams looking really rich, really expensive? I feel like this is the perfect example of that, or one of the perfect examples of that. I love this because, first of all, these joggers, they're very comfortable, and this top is also really comfortable. These are nice, really cozy knits that I got from Zara. Recently, I showed you guys this in my Zara haul. If you wanna check out that video, then I'll link it here in the cards. It was like a mixed haul and I had some Zara pieces, some really good pieces actually. And I love this. So I actually had it styled with a pair of like neutral color sneakers that I showed you guys from that video as well. 
but I think that it looks so good with these leopard flats from J. Crew. That's another great way to, first of all, incorporate some of your more uh, work-friendly pieces. I know so many of you probably have some flats or a pair of shoes that you probably wouldn't style with a pair of joggers. This is the time to think about the things that you have and then really figure out how you can transition them or make them work a little bit more for you because a pair of flats, these flats I got for the office and since I'm not going into the office, they haven't gotten very much use. So I think this is a great way to put them to more use but make them fit more realistically into my life now. And I am wearing a lot more cozy knits, a lot more lounge sets, things like that. So this is actually really perfect and so comfortable. And of course, if you are gonna be on a Zoom call or anything like that, you have the visual interest up top, so you're covered. Now to keep everything in the same cream colored family, I threw on this Zara coat. Of course, love this entire look, you guys. You already know the monochrome looks are the best and easiest ways to look really expensive without having to think about it, to look really put together without having to think about it. And with everything you have to think about throughout the week, throughout the month, fashion, even though we wanna look good every day, you wanna make it easy and keep it fun. It doesn't need to be a chore or a task. You wanna just be able to reach in your wardrobe, reach into your closet and pull out three things that go together because you're picking pieces, you're shopping for pieces in your wardrobe that are interchangeable. All of these pieces in these outfits are interchangeable and that's what creates a capsule wardrobe. You want to have pieces that you can easily mix and match and still have a really great look. You can wear them over and over again and still look really polished and put together. Here's the next look I have for you guys. And this is another example of putting those shoes you bought for work to good use on the weekend or anytime throughout the rest of your um, wardrobe, another way to wear them. And I'm wearing my Sam Edelman patent leather loafers. Love these and I know so many of you love these. These are actually one of my favorite pair because I'm patent leather obsessed. But it looks really great paired here with these Zara knit joggers and my Lily Silk cashmere turtleneck so warm and cozy this look is perfect i love this and these neutrals are a little bit deeper in tone i like this pants especially the color is called mink and i like these especially because the color is just a little bit more interesting than a basic brown or i i mean i even like them a little bit more than cream actually just because you might not feel like wearing cream or you might not you know feel like it makes you look slim or whatever your issues are with the color cream. This is a really nice, interesting neutral to go with as well. And then the colors going through the turtleneck, they have a little bit of that mink color going through there. It looks like a little tiny bit of caramel, a little bit of gray. It's very, very, very like small amounts of these colors like shot through all over this turtleneck. So this is a great option and it looks good paired with lighter colors as well like the light camels and everything. You can really look at this and see what you wanna pull out of it. This is a great color actually. But love this look. I think styling it with these loafers is a lot more unexpected than a basic pair of sneakers. And I like that a lot. Really perfect, really comfortable and cozy. And again, if you wanna wear this for working from home, that's perfect. If you wanna wear this to run errands, that's gonna be great. I think I'm actually gonna wear this out tomorrow <laughs> while I'm running errands. Um, We'll see, but I love this. So cozy and comfy and perfect. And if you are doing something for the holidays over a Zoom call or going to a friend's house or something, like I said before, you can easily embellish with like sparkly hair clips and or headbands. You can put a little bit more embellishment other places to keep the outfit a lot more interesting if you feel that this is a little bit more basic than you want it to be. I'm even wearing one of my ankle bracelets. This is the one with the hearts. I linked it in my other video, but I'll link it in this one as well so you guys can check it out. I got this from Amazon. Very affordable and very cute. And again, I love the accessories. A great way to add a little bit more interest to your outfit. What do you guys think about this look? And for my coat, I just threw on this Czech Cole Han coat that I have. 
has a really nice um, couple of shades of like brown, cream, black shot through it. And if you guys have any sort of a check plaid coat, it could go great here. Even if you have a blazer, that could work really great here as well. So don't just think about wearing your coats. Also think about incorporating your blazers. You can layer them under your coats. That's a great way to style this as well. And I think I can find this something similar. If you like this coat, especially, I found something similar previously when I showed you guys this coat. So hopefully it's still available. I got it from Nordstrom Rack and that's where I was able to find it again. So if I can find it, I'll link it for you guys. But if not, I'll see what I can find similar or maybe put like some blazer options. Depending on where you live, obviously it's winter time. I know coats, everybody probably has to wear a coat right now in the winter if it's freezing where you are. But if it's not that cold, like where I live in Georgia, it's cold right now but it's not cold for very long so perhaps i'll be able to wear this outfit with a blazer instead of a coat you know so think about that as well just because i'm showing you how to style it this way think about all the pieces that you have in your wardrobe to make this outfit fit you a lot better Here's the last look I have for you guys. And this might look familiar because I've shown you guys this outfit before. This is a knit set from Express that I absolutely love, but I wanted to include it because this is a great set to have in your wardrobe if you want to create a capsule wardrobe because you can break up the pieces very easily and wear them separately. The top with jeans, the skirt with um, a button up shirt, maybe with a wide belt, that could be really cute as well. But this is just a really nice affordable piece. I saw that Express still has these pieces available, so I'm gonna link them in the description box and I'll put the sizes of everything that I have. I'll put the size of everything in the description box as well so that way it can help you like decide what size you wanna go with. But I love this set. And I haven't styled it in this way for you guys. I think the last time I styled it, I had like a pair of knee boots on with it. I'll link that video, the outfit ideas video that I did with this one previously. I'll link it here in the cards if you want to check that out. But this set is so cozy, really perfect. And it's not going to ever go like out of style. I feel like this set is going to be something I'm going to love next year, the year after, and the year after that. So a great one to have. And then these boots I actually got from Nordstrom Rack a while back. They are... I'm not even sure what brand they are, to be honest with you guys, but I'll put that in the description box. And then my earrings, these are some feather earrings that I got from Nordstrom, but I found a similar pair, or a pair that has like a similar vibe that I linked in my last video. So I'll link that again in the description box or any others that I find. But I love this, very cozy, perfect for any sort of holiday event or anything to come in the future, perfect for working from home. You can throw this on with a pair of sneakers. I was actually gonna style it that way for you guys as well, but I felt like some of you might prefer to wear it with a heel. I know a lot of you guys are heel ladies and you wanna see some heels, so I thought this would work out really well. Or if you want, you can just do a, a pump. Just go ahead and do a pump with this and that would be really cute as well. This outfit is so versatile and I cannot get over how amazing it is for the price that I pay for it. They have sales, it seems like, constantly, especially right now at Express. So if you can get your hands on it when they're doing like 50% off, if they still have it, then that's a great time to get it. So cannot go wrong. And I noticed that they have been doing some really great like knits and other pieces right now. So definitely check out Express. So that's it for another outfit ideas video. I hope you guys got tons of inspiration for how you can style some of the neutrals in your wardrobe and got some inspiration on what pieces you wanna to add to your wardrobe to make it more neutral if that's the way you wanna go. So of course, let me know in the comments which outfit was your favorite. And if you made it this far and you still haven't subscribed, then what are you waiting for? I would love to have you. And if you enjoyed this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot, especially if you wanna see more content from Park Avenue. It helps YouTube see that this is the kind of content you wanna watch and that way I show up more on your timeline. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on my socials. I'll have everything linked for you in the description box. And if you wanna shop my closet, you can check out my website as well. I'll have that linked in the description box for you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.